If you are facing reboot and select proper boot device error, don't worry. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to fix it and explain what caused it so you can prevent it from happening again. Step 1. Change boot priority in BIOS. Restart your computer and enter BIOS by pressing F2, F12, Delete or Escape depending on your system. Navigate to the boot section. Select your primary boot device to your hard drive. Save changes and exit BIOS. Your PC should boot normally. If the error return after shutting down for an hour, the issue might be in your CMOS battery. The CMOS battery save BIOS settings. If it's dead, your BIOS reset every time you turn off your computer, causing the boot error. One sign that your CMOS battery is dead is that your computer reset the date and time every time you turn it on. Some motherboard emit a beeping sound during a startup due to battery failure. For desktop, open the case and locate the round CMOS battery on the motherboard. Remove the old battery and replace it with a new one. Close the case and restart your PC. For laptop, disassemble the laptop carefully to access the motherboard. Make sure to carefully remove all the screw. Don't accidentally leave any couple behind. If you have some basic technical knowledge or experience, you can easily do this. But if you are not comfortable opening your laptop, take it to a professional. Now, identify the CMOS battery. Some laptops use a standard CR2032 battery while others have wired battery. Replace the battery. Reassemble the laptop. and restart. Of course, set your primary boot device to your hard drive or SSD again, cause your BIOS has been reset due to CMOS battery failure. I have noticed something, whether it's a wet CMOS battery or regular one, both are essentially the same. The only difference is that, in the case of wet CMOS, two wires are attached to the side. So if you want, you can convert a regular battery also wet CMOS battery by adding wire. Or you can turn a wet CMOS battery into regular one by removing the wire. If replacing CMOS battery doesn't fully resolve the issue or you experience slow boot time, Windows boot manager error, missing drive, your hard drive may be failing. Consider replacing your SSD or HDD. By following this step, you can fix the reboot and select proper boot device error and prevent it happening in the future. If you are unsure about handling hardware, seek for professional help. Let me know in the comment if this helped you or if you have any question.